We're the Okanagan and Zambia Health Initiative. So we are a local non-for-profit here in Kelowna, comprised mainly of nurses, doctors, and surgeons. And um, our goal of our organization is to really build the capacity of healthcare workers in Zambia, um, with the overall goal of um, improving health for all of those living in rural Zambia, particularly Western Province. A lot of people ask us, why do we choose Zambia? And it's a really good question because uh, there's a huge need here in Canada. And really what it comes down to is, is the huge huge health discrepancies between um, you know, Zambia and Canada. So um, if we look at um, the amount of nurses and midwives in Zambia, there is 0.8 nurses and midwives in Zambia per 1,000 people. So here in Canada, it's um, 9.3 nurses and midwives per 1,000. So you're looking at 0.8 in Zambia and 9.3 in Canada. That is a huge discrepancy and a reason why we do the work that we do. There are some alarming inequities and inequalities in the, wor in the world and also within Canada. And I think this international development aims to begin at least to address some of these inequities in the world. And it's also about realizing it's not us and them or not us versus them. It's all of us as a whole collectively. And so the whole international development movement aims to address those inequities and have that realization that it is us as a, as a greater collective and how we can all play a role individually but at working within organizations to address those inequities. The week gives us a space to talk about the work that us as an organization and us as individuals are doing and to highlight that we are indeed global citizens and global citizenship is an important piece to being a citizen in Canada, a citizen of the world and it can highlight to Canadians that there are great organizations doing work out there and you can take that opportunity to perhaps join an organization or um, join a movement if you kind of feel sparked by the passion that you hear of others speaking about. I think for me, I'm just, I feel very invested in the relationships that we've built there. Um, every time I've gone back, I feel very welcomed and honored to be a part of the project work that we do. And it's just such a privilege to be able to work alongside in a very collaborative way with our Zambian colleagues, um, all for the common goal of bettering their, their health system and their health care. I have learned so much from my Zambian colleagues. As much as I go over and think that I am teaching, and I am, but I have learned so much from seeing how they have handled many situations, working in limited resource settings, they're creative, they're innovative, and it's certainly something that I bring back to my own practice, my own teaching here as well, and so it's, it's, and it's challenged me in so many different ways. And for me, it often feels like I'm going back to a second home now, where I've got a community that we're established, and I've got good friends and colleagues in the communities that we work.